Hello students, welcome back to class. And we are still on page 62, and we're on lesson number six, pronunciation. Can and can't. Okay, so this is a problem for some ESL students. Can and can't. And so to say can't, can is a uh, can. B the British, British English will say con. Con and can't. But American English, we say can and can't. But to say can't, you need to make the sound of the final consonant very clear. So watch me and listen to me. Can. Can't. Do you hear the T on the N? Can't. Can't. It's not very loud. It's not can't, huh? It's can't. I can. I can't. If you don't say this correctly, then you're actually saying the opposite of what you want to say. And so this is an important sound that you have to make. And so with the, the ending T and the ending S, you have to make an extra action of your mouth. Can't. Can't. And so pronunciation. Listen and practice. I can play the guitar. I can't sing very well. Say this, I can, I can, I can. You can say it like this, I can, I can play the guitar. I can, I can play the guitar, but I can't sing very well. You can't say I couldn't. You can say I can, I can play the guitar, but you cannot say I couldn't. You have to say I can't. You have to say can't clearly. I can't sing very well. And so let's look at the uh, letter B. And do you hear can or can't? Read a sentence from the left or right column and your partner says can or can't. I'm going to read these sentences and you listen and what do you hear? Can or can't? I can dance. I can't swim very well. He can swim well. I can't dance. She can sing. They can't skate well. They can skate well. She can't sing. Can't. The T is not strong. Listen to me again. Can't. Can't. But your tongue must touch the top of your mouth to say it properly. You do not say can't, uh, but you say can't. Your tongue touches the top of your mouth very quickly to make the T sound at the end of can't. And so you say these after me. I can dance. I can't dance. He can swim well. He can't swim well. She can sing. She can't sing. They skate very well. They can't skate well. Okay, so that is practicing the, the T sound at the end. You need to practice it and you need to focus. Just remember, one of the, the weak points of a Cambodian ESL student is saying and pronouncing the final consonant. And so you have to think about it. The S and the T and the G and the K and the P and the D, these are important final consonant sounds. So you have to think and remind yourself, I have to say it. Let's just look at the sound of the letter A. The letter A, remember we have vowels and consonant. What are the vowels? There are five vowels. What are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. And all of the vowels have at least two sounds. But A has four sounds. 
And so A has the A, uh, A, uh, A, A. Uh. Can you say that? Look at the slide. A, uh, A, uh, A, A. Uh. A, uh, about, around, zebra, private, climate, senate, a. Uh. And so one of the A sounds is a, uh, about. The next A sound is a, uh, father, barn, football, tall, call, law, fall. Another A sound is A. The name of the letter is also the sound. A, eight, able, create, baby, Asia, snake, A. Sometimes we say A, sometimes we say A uh, for the article, meaning one. And the next sound of A is A, ah, apple, ask, ant, last, at, fat, sat, cat. All right, say these after me again. The four sounds of the letter A. A, uh, A, uh, A, A. Uh. A, uh, A, uh, A, A. Uh. Let's review the phonetic sounds of the English alphabet, okay? And so we won't, okay, let's say, start with A. A, 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 A. A. Nigitam lo kru. A, 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 A. B, K, S. Remember, C has two sounds. K, cat, S, city. K, S. Nigitam lo kru ho. Da. E, E. E, E, F, G, J. G has two sounds. G, J, H. I has two sounds. I, I. Listen to me. I, man, man, I. Almost all Cambodians say it wrong. E is the long sound of the letter E. I is the long sound of the letter I, but the short sound of the letter I is I. I. I comes from the bottom of your throat. E comes from your mouth. And so say I. 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 J. K. U. M. N. O. A. P. Qu. R. S. S has two sounds. S. Z. T. But T is not really a strong T. P. T. Da. It's not really strong. We don't really say da, pa, ta. It's quiet. Da, da, pa, ta. U, a. Uh, two sounds. U, a. Uh. V, wa. The X, x. The X makes the K, S sound. K. The Y, Y, I, E. Mm. The Y makes the I and the E sound too. And Z, Z. All right, say these after me again. 
A A A A B K S D I E F G J K U M N O O P K W R S Z T U A V W X Y E I all right, so those are the sounds. Remember, the names are important, but the sounds are more important. And so I want you to learn the sounds of the English alphabet. And that way will help you to learn to pronounce the words better. And as we're teaching and we're studying together, I can say no, listen. T -p -t or I can say k or qua, and you know the sound that I'm talking about because I want to help you to pronounce the words better. All right, that is this lesson. Take a break, no homework. See you in the next lesson.